come to you today as someone who carries within him the true aspirations of Zeon. Hello everyone and welcome to the Zeon Remnants channel. And in today's video we're taking a look at another custom cape for the Berserk Figma line. This time we're looking at a custom cape for the Band of the Hawk version of Guts. Now if you guys seen the last video I did on something like this, we had a custom cape for the Black Swordsman Guts and that looks something like this which I think again if you haven't seen that video it's actually pretty funny I rage a little bit about the quality of the original cape so go ahead and check that out but this is the custom cape for this figure and I liked it so much I said you know what I might get a custom cape for my band of the hawk guts and so I decided to go ahead and do that if I find the link to this cape I will put it down in the description below but as of the time of recording this video I have not found this cape again for sale so I apologize for that but we're gonna go ahead and let's see how this thing looks so move guts out the way here here is the uh, packaging for the cape uh, it says Maruyama here I don't know if that's the name of the person that made this or maybe that's maybe that's just the thing for the packaging I have no idea um, I'm probably wrong well who knows we're gonna open this as the strongest glue in existence All right, and this comes on a little piece of thick paper there. And we have the cape here. And there's a little uh, stud, kind of like on Guts's cape that he has here. Now, the interesting thing is that I've looked at a lot of different photos on Guts's cape, trying to see if his cape's supposed to be red like this, or this color here. And from what I've seen... And correct me if I'm wrong, and I am kind of colorblind, but it seems like in most of the material I've seen with Guts in his uh, Band of the Hawk uniform, his cape is red. So why the figure, Figma figure isn't red, I don't know. Maybe this is a, uh, maybe he did wear a different cape at one point. Honestly, I don't really know. But uh, I guess we're going to take this out. So the old cape basically just slides off, and then this comes out here. And we have that. And let's see. Might need to take the, uh, oh, how does this go on? Let's see. Oh, okay. Probably, uh, do I need to take the head off? I don't think so. Alright, go ahead. This material is pretty nice, actually. All right, um, give me a moment while I fiddle with this. One eternity later. All right, guys, after fiddling it for a little while, I figured out um, kind of how to shape it. So in the area around the collar, there's a wire, actually, in here. This uh, stitch part here actually has wire in it. So I kind of shaped a little bit, closed it uh, a bit closer to the neck. And then basically, you know, you want this uh, gold piece here to be toward the right because that's basically how Guts' cape is, that, that little button that keeps everything together is uh, to the right of him. And then um, this fabric is really nice, really nice and soft. Um, the One of the major upsides to using this is that you no longer have to plug your action base into the back of the cape, which I like. Um, also, my uh, one of my pegs actually broke in my cape a while ago, and I had to like super glue it. You guys can see that. Um, I think it's pretty much fixed. I'm pretty sure I super glued it and I tried to uh, plastic cement it. But anyway, I don't need to worry about that anymore. I think this is a pretty good addition um, as far as a custom to this figure. If you don't like the color of that cape, if you don't like the stiff cape and you're more into soft goods, like right now, just looking at this, like this looks awesome. Um, the one downside is that unlike the guts black swordsman cape that I bought which has wires throughout and you can make these cool poses like his uh, cape is flying in the wind this does not have that this is just a very soft material it flows really well over the figure it hides the action base really well which is another reason why I like fabric capes because like right now you can't see that he's you know on a base at certain angles that's one thing I definitely do really like um, about fabric capes that's an advantage over most plastic ones um, because you do have that ability um, to go ahead and hide, you know, your base and whatnot. But, you know, also you can just, 
you know, get all kind of different looks out of the cape. Um, it takes some fiddling, but you can definitely get, you know, some good poses with it. Um, I like the color. I think it's a little bit... It looks brighter on camera than it does in person. It's actually a bit darker um, than on the camera. So it actually looks really well with the figure. And I just like it. It adds a little bit of color to Guts. I like the red cape. I like the fabric. I like the fact that they added the wire armatures, you know, around the neck so that you can kind of like shape this uh, area where it would be folded up, kind of like on this here. And I think like this just makes Guts look so much better. Um, and also, it matches Griffith a bit more because the Griffith Figma figure also does have a fabric cape. Why they stopped doing this with Griffith, I don't know. But I definitely like the Guts uh, cape here. And I think I'm going to continue doing this with certain figures that I think should have some soft goods. Um, I don't think... For Berserk, I'm basically done unless I decide to get something for Casca, but she has like one of those, you know, half cape things. So I think the plastic one is just fine for her. Alright guys, this has been my review of a custom cape for the Guts Band of the Hawk Figma figure. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if, like I said, if I find more of this particular type of cape, I will link it in the description below so you can go ahead and purchase it yourself on eBay. Um... I'm really excited to get my Berserk display together. I actually started working on um, the display in general here. And um, if you guys see this uh, white piece here, I'm uh, experimenting with basically going and um, making backgrounds for the cases. Because I do have a really nice piece of Berserk artwork that I bought recently, along with uh, this Attack on Titan piece. But let me show you guys that Berserk artwork real quick, because it is beautiful. Alright guys, now check that out. I bought this at the Anime Festival Orlando a couple weeks back from this artist. If I find her business card, I will go and link her in the description. I have been looking for a real long time for a good poster or piece of art with Casca, Guts, and Griffith. And I finally found it here. I really love this piece. And what I plan to do is to go ahead and once I get the uh, template correct for uh, this experiment I have here. I'm gonna put this onto the board and then it will be behind the uh, Band of the Hawk figures and I'm gonna start doing that on this display here with uh, other figures that I have. So this is an experiment um, but just wow. This was exactly something like what I was looking for and um, th this lady that made this just super talented, really awesome and I'm really happy to actually own this piece because I think it's just amazing. Alright everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment down below. If you liked the video, leave it a like. Subscribe for more creative content. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and buy a Destiny t-shirt on designedbyhumans.com at the Xeon shop. Thank you all once again for always tuning in. And as always, Zeke Zeon!